here I am in my workshop and I'm working on part of the center line of the um, sailboat. So this is called the stem and I basically bought a bunch of um, a white oak from a from a um, sawmill and I had it out in the backyard. So I cut a piece and um, it's here if you can see it. Basically I have a template for each of the pieces. So this is um, one of the two pieces of the stems and basically the two pieces fit together more or less like this. This is called a scarf joint right here where they kind of overlap. And so basically what I've got to do is I've got to take the huge uh, piece of white oak and um, like cut it to shape. Um, white oak is dense and hard and it's also unseasoned so it's hard to cut. So it took a lot of time, um, many recharges of batteries on the skill saw. So I have cut out the first of these and now what I have to do is shape it in a way. These lines are supposed to be smir smooth curves and you can see that they're not. And in part, it's because I don't have quite the right tools. If I had a bandsaw, then I could probably cut these nice and easy and smooth. Uh, but, you know, I just don't have the space, don't have the money. And so I got to do a lot by hand. And so what I'm doing right now is basically... Um, here you can see that I basically cut this out. I cut in to the pieces and then I cut along these. I actually used a chisel to kind of knock these pieces out and that's why these um, vertical lines remain right here. And so then more or less what I have to do is smooth this all the way down with chisels, with sandpaper, um, with planers and things like that. And so in, you know, after, I don't know, another four hours or something like that, of effort, then I'll have this piece, stem two. And then I'll turn my uh, attention to stem one, and then I'll trim this template up a little bit better. And then I'll cut that out of the wood that lives outside. And then I'll bring it back in here and I'll do that same kind of cutting process with any luck with a little bit um, more skill, a little bit more practice, a little bit more experience, and like a little bit more speed too. Uh, so that's how things are standing right now. Uh, and I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to sharpen my chisels and actually should do my um, planer blade because the sharper it is, the easier it is. Um, the kind of the more accurate, the finer you can cut with less effort, less slippage and less, you know, kind of like accidents or gouges or anything like that.